We are back with a Fox News alert. The U.S. military killing an ISIS-K planner near the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. We are just learning new details. A U.S. Reaper drone flew to Afghanistan from a base in the Middle East to kill the ISIS-K planner, who was plotting, they say, quote, future attacks on U.S. forces in Kabul, a U.S. official tells Fox News. We will keep you updated throughout the hour as the situation develops. Joining me now is South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman and Maryland Congressman Andy Harris, who's a former Navy Reserve Medical Officer. Gentlemen both, thank you so much for being here. Congressman Harris, I'll start with you. Your reaction uh, to this killing of an ISIS-K fighter tonight and where it puts us in Afghanistan. Well, it's just too little too late. The fact of the matter is this operation has been bungled. Uh, this this won't retrieve won't retrieve that bungling. Uh, look, we've still got a lot of Americans on the ground, a lot of our allies on the ground. I don't see any way we can be out by August 31st. And I think the president has to extend that deadline, given what's happened over the last few days. So you think, uh, Representative Harris, real quick, you think he can't even meet the August 31st deadline. You're anticipating that, logistically speaking, getting all U.S. troops out by then just isn't going to happen. That's right. You know, we still have to get hundreds, if not thousands, of Americans out. We have to get our allies out, uh, those who hold uh, the special immigrant visas uh, and their families. And then we have to evacuate 5,000 troops and equipment. Uh, that's, that's a tall order for four days. Sure is. Uh, Representative Norman, your take on this strike first tonight. Well, Pete, look, look, at the, look at what's happened. You know, we've got 13 Americans dead, 20 injured. Um, you know, this administration is, is a, a toothless tiger. I mean, they don't trust him. Uh, if this were Donald Trump, the pure, the, the pure might uh, of, the, of, the, uh, of the military would be on the Taliban. It wouldn't even be a question. Biden has set arbitrary dates with no plan in place. And as a result, we have dead Americans, got 5,000 that are left there, and one drone strike killing, you know, one, uh, one ISIS member. I mean, really, it's an embarrassment. And uh, I don't see anything coming of it because look at his action. Look at his record. And uh, that's why we're trying to hold Blinken and others accountable because I don't know who he's taking advice from and whatever advice it is, it's not good. Well, that's what we booked you to talk about tonight, Representative Norman, first and foremost, was the idea that both of you, Representative Norman and Harris, are introducing articles of impeachment for Secretary of State Blinken. If I may, uh, Representative Norman, why, st why state first? Why Blinken? Why do you view that's the place uh, where, where accountability should start? He's Secretary of State. On January 26, he took an oath to defend the Constitution and protect the American people. He's failed in every respect. The problem he has, there's a timeline of events that took place, uh, starting when Biden started giving dates, starting when the embassy uh, was evacuated 3,000 people on April 27th. Uh, on May 15th, he got a memo that it was dangerous over there and to keep get Americans out. Uh, Bagram on July 2nd, which failed, we gave up, opened the prisons up to some of the most dangerous terrorists, uh, and, along with all of our equipment. And it's just been a disaster uh, from day one. And he does it. Look at what Mike Pompeo did for the years he was uh, Secretary of State. He gave briefings. Uh, and he had an action plan. Blinken simply in his role has failed. And that's why the disaster is there. And whether Biden listened to him, listens to him or not, he should resign. And that's why Dr. Harris and I were going to impeach him. And let's put it to a vote and see what happens. Uh, do you think you'll get traction on this, Representative Harris? And do you think it should stop at state or are there other officials uh, you, you would uh, look for accountability for as well? Well, first of all, there are very few things that we do on a bipartisan basis in Washington, but, but we, on a bipartisan basis, agree that this was entirely botched, that this withdrawal is a catastrophe. And most Americans don't realize this was not a Department of Defense effort. The Department of State was running this withdrawal. They were the ones who didn't know where our Americans were. They were the ones who didn't have plans to evacuate everyone. They were the ones who allowed the military, some of the military, to leave before we evacuated our Americans. This, the first and foremost, falls squarely on the secretary who, who headed the department that mm -hmm. was in charge of this withdrawal. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Please do keep us updated on this effort. We appreciate your time. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.